So, Ama Diallo is dominating the back pages this morning after two goals for Manchester United in their win. But I want to just touch on this other story that's floating around on The Guardian and in the mirror as well. Um, this is regarding the um, situation with Lee Carsley and Thomas oh, Tuchel. Yes. I just spoke today about I'm it on the break. I'm a, I'm, I know. Yeah, so, weird. they've. So in The Guardian, the headline is Lee Carsley saying he respects I'm in charge. Carsley has not spoken with Tuchel about the England squad. They have exchanged texts, mm. but they haven't actually had a phone call with um, the Mirror saying out of Tuchel, with Carsley saying we've spoken by text, but that was to say congrats and good luck. I mean, Ray, where do you sit on this? Should, oh, should Thomas Tuchel be more involved yeah, in this England camp? he should be, really. Yeah. I, I, I think he should be meeting the players. He should be watching training. Look, you don't have to get involved in it. Just to see the mannerism of certain players and just to learn their characters, really. But then aren't you stepping on toes? Not really, because no. he knows he's going to get the job. So, you know, he doesn't have to get involved in anything. Lee Carsley can still do his, his coaching or whatever he's going to do and set his team up. You're just standing on the side watching. Mm. I what find it bizarre, do? Katie. I find it bizarre. I, I, I swear, you know, I, I just, I'm like, you've got to have some involvement. I'm not saying you're on the pitch with your tracksuit on or the side of the pitch, but you've got to look and just, you know, have a quick meet where you say, look, thanks a lot. It's a weird situation, but do your best of two games. Thank you. Do you know what, as well? You know, it's weird. I, weird. I, I would have every single player singly in, into my office as, as, a, as a manager saying, look, this is where we want to be going forward. Already, though. Why, why not? You know, you don't get that op- many opportunities to, to see someone, do you? So when you're in a training camp, everyone's there and you can just say, right, let me have one evening after dinner, with one, one-on-ones with people and just get to know their characters and mm. say, look, we want to go forward, you're going to be part of my plans and bang, bang, bang. And what if Tuchel's it's looking at that squad that. that Lee's picked for the two games thinking, God, I wouldn't have him, I wouldn't have him, I don't, I don't fancy him. It's ridiculous, honestly. Mm. Mm. He should at least be attending the game, don't you think? Well, I, I should imagine I so. watch on the telly, won't he? He, mm. he probably won't be at the games, but he'll, he'll watch it for sure. But I think training's very important so. to watch the training. Don't you? Don't you think? Is it? Is it from more from a culture point of view as well? You kind uh, of get more of an understanding if you're in and around yeah. the team before it's just, it's just you just start. Yeah, just it's just meeting players. <coughs> it's just meeting who you're going to be working with. Um, mm. And the quicker you do it, the, more, the relationships you get going. You don't have to step on Lee Carsley's toes and tell him what to do, but you can still be there and watch and, mm. and assess yeah. what's going on. I think the FA personally, I think I've just bottled it. The bottled it. They should, they should be saying, Thomas, you know, say hello for God's sake. Well, especially for the World Cup qualifying draw, you'd think that's actually... You know, be there. Should, surely be there, but yeah, he's still not. Be, yeah. Which is uh, bizarre. There's another story floating around in the Daily Mail with uh, the headline, Arteta Blowers Rice Hit by Broken Toe. He's going to play though, isn't he? Yes. So I was going to ask you guys, did you ever play with an injury? Oh, you, yeah. B- b- All the time. Of <laughs> I played Tottenham Toes. I had a neuroma, which is... A growth on the nerve, right? So oh. I'd obviously been studded or kicked and it just got infected. And I had a growth in the nerve. So every time I put my foot on the ground, I got an electric shock. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So how did so, you run then? Well, but as I walked out on the pitch. <laughs> he hopped. He hopped. Two minutes before I walked on the pitch, <laughs> okay, out come the injection, the painkiller, bosh. And I'd just about get it half time. They'd do it again at half time. But for some reason, it would it would never last ninety minutes. So the last few minutes, I'm like, oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it was horrible, horrible. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if, if he does play Sunday because it's massive game against Chelsea and you know an international break. Then does he mm. does he miss that then after that? Well, same know. with Martin Odegaard. Should they play him oh, on well, Sunday? I think they've got to play him. I think they really do have to play him on. It's a risk though, isn't it? It is a risk, but I'm sure Martin knows exactly how his body is and he's he's a he's a, he's a He's an honest guy, so he say, "Look, boss, I'm ready to go. Let me get me out there." Oh, you well, know, and Arsenal! You, and you, Arsenal. You, you've got to win that game. They've look got to win at, it. Okay, I know you're an Arsenal fan. Look at the table now. The mm. Arsenal yeah. can't drop any more points now for a while. No, no, exactly. They'd be hoping that Man City and Liverpool drop points and they can pick up points. So I think Martin Odegaard definitely will start. Yeah, they've really Sunday. missed him. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's, he's that cre- creativity they've missed. Because they don't didn't look like scoring against Newcastle. I thought they was in the Milan. I thought they played all right. To be fair, I thought they was a little bit unlucky with the penalty and, and scenario there. But certainly now Chelsea game is all the focus is on it. And then they got Nottingham Forest, who mm. are third in the league. So yeah. got two big games now coming up. Mm. Uh, where are you this weekend, Kitty? I'm at Portsmouth tomorrow for Portsmouth. Oh, a little bit closer. A little bit closer from Burnley and Burnley. Yeah, struggling. 
<laughs> they are struggling at the moment. Who are they playing? They? So they're playing Preston. Oh, wow. Preston are going pretty well. They got a good draw the other night, didn't they, Preston? Sunderland. So, mm, they drew with Sunderland, yeah. That's mm. not easy because uh, Plymouth beat Portsmouth, didn't they? 1 0. Wayne. Mm. Yeah, Wayne they Rooney. did. So Pompey yeah. are struggling, as Steve will tell us later. Katie, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.